Tina Ted here at Entertainment Junction. And you know, one of the questions I get asked the most is, why don't trains have cabooses anymore? Well, a caboose was a place where a brakeman or a flagman or the conductor could, you know what? Why don't we just jump on in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, now the caboose, as you probably know, was the last car on the train. So for example, the engineer might blow the whistle and then the brakeman would go and start setting the brakes. But back in those days, every single car on the train had a brake. When the train would stop, the flagman would get down and he would signal other trains either with a flag or with a lantern. And then there was the conductor. He was in charge of all the paperwork for the train. He was in charge of keeping track whether it was a freight train or a passenger train. Now, starting in the 1860s, they put this box on almost every single train. It's called a cupola, and it made it so that the crew could look out a little window and see and make sure everything was okay with the whole train. Now, if you're wondering why you don't see a caboose these days, the answer is simple. Technology. Air brakes replaced brakemen. Electronic communications replaced the flagman, and computers replaced the conductor. So if you want to see Caboose these days run on the rails, you got to ride a historic ra railway. <laughs> so until next time, be sure to stay on track. Excuse me, is the doctor in? Oh.